Hey guys, how's it going? Isabella here from Aquazone Aquarium Services. And today we will discuss a very important subject because I get that question at work all the time. How much light is too much light for an aquarium? Well, <laughs> the question is a bit tricky because it depends what kind of aquarium we have. If it's a fish only aquarium and you don't have any plants, and anything else to grow with light, you should at least let the fish sleep. So they do need uh, the light to turn off at some point. But the important aspect is also the algae you'll be producing if you leave the lights on all the time. So aside from the fish needing some sleep, you will grow algae all over the glass, all over the decoration. So there's a rule of thumb that in uh, aquariums, Eight hours is a general consensus to have uh, light in your aquarium. But in this video, I want to um, talk more about planted aquariums. How much light is too much light for a planted aquarium? Because even though there's the eight hour rule, your plants and your aquascape will actually speak to you in order to tell you how much is too much light. And also the intensity of your light is important. Um, <clears throat> so let's begin with the beginning. You have an aquarium and you freshly planted it. You must know something important about that aspect. When you plant plants into the substrate, this is your first day, the plants do not care so much about having uh, much sunlight. They, they do need lighting. But the primary focus of your plants, indoor and outdoor, any plant, is to grow a new root system for its new environment. So all its energy is going to go into growing a root system. Therefore, you will probably see your plant leaves die off. Not the entire plant will die off, but you will see some browning, some fading away. In that process, it's simply the plant making its roots. So intense lighting is not suggested in newer aquariums, newer setups. So how do you know it's too much light or not enough light? When you have a planted tank and you grow algae on the leaves of your plants, that's a pretty good sign you got too much light. Um, and that I'm speaking of intensity. The eight hour rule still applies. Eight hour is a general consensus. If you don't have very strong lighting, you can maybe take it to 10 hours a day, okay? Some planted tanks, they're well established, long lived. I bring up to 10 hours a day. But in the beginning, for the first like three months, six months, eight hours, it's perfectly fine because you're gonna do all cycles of algae in your fish tank before you reach a balance and around the six month mark that's when you reach a balance where all your plants have made roots and they started growing uh, new um, leaves for the lighting for the environment so the important part in the beginning is not to burn your plants right so how do we achieve that well in this fish tank i have a fluval ramp and it's very good because you can lower the intensity down to 30%, down to 50%. As long as there's the right spectrum of sunlight, you're fine. Even down to 30, 50%, okay? In the very beginning, the first month. But then, as time goes on, you can increase it. If you see that there's still no algae growing on your um, plants. Because if there's algae on your plants, it will cut out the light from the actual leaves. So you don't want that to happen. You want the leaves to be algae free. Also, um, one thing to know is that you can decrease the amount of sunlight, the intensity, but there's also a trick if your ramp, you cannot uh, decrease the intensity of your lighting. There's a trick of plants that actually reach the top, such as these floaters. These ones, I don't know the particular name. I'll write it in the description. But one plant that I know is important um, to cover the top and likes to cover the top is all forms of Valisneria. Valisneria is a long plant. 
And as a matter of fact, one thing you have to memorize about Velocinaria is you cut it too short, you will kill the leaf entirely. So it's better to let it float on the surface. And what that does, it doesn't prevent light from accessing the rest of your fish tank or your plants. No, no, no. It will cut off the excess light. So it will still grow through. And I will insert in here uh, some of my clients' um, aquarium pictures um, before and after they had floating plants. And then we cut them too short and then they never grew back and then all his plants burned. So it's important to have floating plants. They will let the right spectrum of light reach inside the fish tank. If you don't have um, leafy floating plants like these ones that are actually rooted, you will get some of these floater water hyacinths or water lilies. And they do the same. Look under, the light still goes through, okay? But just enough so you don't burn your whole aquascape. They're very, very important, these plants. And you know what? These floating plants, they grow really fast. And what does it mean when a plant grows really fast? It means also it absorbs all sorts of nutrients, all sorts of nitrates, yes. It all absorbs a lot of um, phosphates. Every excess nutrient is got to be gobbled up by these plants. Yeah, the other plants are still going to be good. This is a fresh setup. I just planted them. As you can see, there's actually like new leaves that don't even match the immersed leaves that were grown prior. But all that to say that these plants are ultra important in beginner setups. Um, there's also duckweed, though duckweed is so hard to get rid of afterwards. Another thing about these floater plants is that um, they create microfauna for small species to nourish themselves and also they're very good for breeding microspecies because they like to scatter their eggs in these roots. So it, it creates a really nice, um, you know, ecosystem in the aquarium. And um, so, yeah, too much light is when you see that green spot algae all over your decor, all over your plants, all over your glass. You're not supposed to have much algae in your fish tank. That's the rule of thumb. Like the, the beginner's algae, you know, the brown one, the light green one, yeah, it can happen, but it's always signs of too much light versus an unestablished ecosystem. Once your system is established, you will not have the same problems. You will not have crazy algae. This is like an established tank, given that the plants are brand new, except these ones. <laughs> um, so that's it for today, guys. Um, it was a very short, explanatory way of telling you how much light is too much light but always think of floater plants to avoid burning your plants all right if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up like subscribe comment share with me your tips and tricks and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye